Hi friends, today I am giving a lecture on M-Way search tree. M-Way search tree means multi-way search tree. Multi-way search tree is approximately similar to binary search tree. Now, what is the difference between M-Way search tree and binary search tree? Okay. So now this is the binary search tree and this is the m-way search tree. Now consider the binary search tree here 25, 20, 40, 16, 22, 35, 45 are the keys. Okay, keys are elements. Okay, in the binary search tree each node can have only one key element. Okay. So this node contains only one key element that is 25. This node contains only one key element that is 20. This node contains only one key element that is 40. In the same way, these node, this node and this node, this node and this node contains only one single key elements such as 16, 22, 35, 45 respectively. Okay. Now, each and every node can have at most two children in the binary search tree. At most two children means a node can have zero children, one children and two children. Okay. Now consider this node. This node contains two children that is 20 and 40. This node contains two children 16 and 22. This node contains two children, 35 and 45. This node contains does zero children. This node also contains zero children. This node contains also zero children. This node contains also zero children. In the binary search tree, a node may contain at most two children. That means either zero children, one children or two children. Okay. Now, how the search operation can be done in the binary search tree? Suppose we want to search 35. Okay, first 35 is compared with the root node key element that is 25. 35 is greater than 25. Go to the right subtree. Here 40 is there. 40 is compared with 35. 40 is greater than 35. So that go to the left subtree. Here 35 is there. 35 is compared with 35. It is both are equal and key is matched so that our search is successful. Okay. Now consider the MBA search tree. MBA search tree means a search tree in which each and every node can have m number of keys and m minus one number of pointers. Okay. So here, so this is a node. This node contains two key elements. That is 15 is one key element and 45 is another key element. This node contains two elements. That is 10 is one key element and 12 is another key element. This node contains two key elements that are 20 and 30. This node contains two key elements that are 50 and 70. Okay. In the MBA search tree, each and every node can have M number of keys and M, my, M minus one number of key elements and M number of pointers. Suppose we are taking a, a three-way search tree. That means M is equal to three. Okay, three-day search tree means, so M is equal to three. How many number of keys are there? So keys is nothing but M minus one. That is three minus one. That is equal to two keys. Okay, how many number of pointers are there? So M number of pointers. That are three pointers are there. So in the three-way search tree, each node can have two keys and M number of pointers. Okay. So here, key, two keys are K1 and K2. So K1 and K2, how many number of keys are there? Two keys are there. K1 and K2 are two keys. How many number of pointers are there? 
m number of pointers m is equal to 3 three pointers are there that are p naught p1 p2 are the pointers okay next for k1 p naught is the left pointer and p1 is the right pointer p naught is the left pointer points to a left sub tree so that has the value less than k1 okay next p1 is the right pointer points to a sub tree that has the value greater than k1 okay next one k2 has left pointer p1 and right pointer p2 okay here p1 is the left pointer points to a left sub tree that has the value less than k2 okay here p2 is the right pointer points to a right sub tree uh, that has the value greater than k2 okay here p naught has the value less than k1 p1 has the value greater than k1 and uh, p1 has the value less than k2 and p2 has the value uh, greater than k2 okay it is like a binary search tree so this is the left uh, it is the left pointer points to a value less than k1 this is the right pointer for k1 that has the value greater than the uh, k1 next p1 has the left pointer points to a value less than k2 and p2 is the right pointer points to a value that has greater than k2 here keys are k1 and k2 or keys and the pointers are p naught p1 p2 okay this is the node structure this is the node structure in m way search tree so this is the example for three way search tree uh, suppose we are taking four way search tree that is m is equal to four m is equal to four means four pointers are there p naught p1 p2 p3 and how many number of keys are there m minus one m value four 4 minus 1 that is equal to 3 keys are there that are k1, k2, k3. Okay. Now, each pi, okay, here p0, p1, p2, here suppose p0, p1, p2 can be represented as a pi, p sub x i, each pi is a pointer to a sub tree or null. Okay. Each, each pi is a pointer to a sub tree or are null that means if that sub tree is empty then it can be represented as null okay so where 1 less than or equal to i less than or equal to m how many number of pointers are there m pointers are there so that is 1 2 m okay in the m in the three way search tree m is equal to 3 that means how many number of pointers are there m pointers are there that is p1 p2 p3 okay so here we are starting from 1 suppose we are starting from 0 that is m m minus 1 is that okay next one here the keys are k1 k2 k3 up to k sub x m minus 1 that are arranged in increasing order okay here keys are arranged in increasing order here k1 and k2 are two keys in the three way search tree here k1 value is less than k2 suppose k3 k4 k5 is also there k2 is less than k3 k3 is less than k4 k4 is less than k5 up to k suffix m minus 1 so this is k1 less than k2 less than k3 less than up to k suffix m minus 1 that is how many number of keys are there m minus 1 number of keys are there okay in the m way search tree the keys are always arranged in increasing order so that is k1 less than k2 less than k3 less than up to k sub x m minus 1 next pointers how many number of pointers are there m pointers are there that is p naught p1 p2 p3 up to pm pointers are there okay Suppose uh, we are starting from 1, so that is uh, pm pointers, m pointers are there. We are starting from 0, m minus 1 pointers are there. Okay, next, in the multi-way search tree, to search a key element, 
uh, it takes a little more time when compared to the binary search tree. So how the searching operation can be done in the uh, MWay search tree? Suppose here, consider this example here, the root node contains two key elements that is 15 and 45. Okay, suppose I here, this is the left pointer and this is the middle pointer and this is the right pointer. Okay, so it is a three-way search tree. So it contains two key elements, 15 and 45. And how many number of pointers are there? Young number of pointers that are three pointers are there. This is the first pointer, this is the second pointer, and this is the third pointer. Okay, this is the first pointer is always less than this key element, contains the value less than this key element. The first pointer points to a subtree that contains the values less than 15. So 10 is less than 15, 12 is less than 15. Okay, now this is the middle pointer. The middle pointer points to a values that are in between 15 and 45. So 20 is greater than 15 and 20 is less than 45. Next, 30 is greater than 15 and 30, 30 is less than 45. Okay, the middle pointer points to a subtree that contains the values in between 15 and 45. Next, this is the third pointer points to a subtree that contains the values greater than this 45. So 50 is greater than 45. Yes, it is true. 70 is greater than 45. Okay. The first pointer points to a uh, subtree that contains the values less than 15. Okay. The second pointer points to a subtree that contains the values in between 15 and 45. The third pointer contains the values greater than 45. Okay. Suppose we want to search 30. Okay. Suppose we want to search the key element 30 in the M base search tree. First, 30 is compared with the first key element in the root node that is greater than 15. 30 is greater than 15. Okay. Now go to the middle pointer. Okay. So 30 next go to uh, 30 is compared with the 45. Second key element 30 is less than 45. Suppose our key element is compared with the first element in the root node. If it is lesser then go to the first pointer or first subtree. Our key element is compared with the uh, second key, uh, second element in the root node. 30 is compared with 45, it is lesser. So then go to the middle pointer. Suppose our key element is greater than the uh, second element in the root node. So then go to the third pointer. So now 30 is compared with 15, it is greater. So next 30 is compared with 45, it is lesser. So, our key element is there in between, such key element is there in between 15 and 45, so that go to the middle pointer. So, here 30 is compared with 20, so it is greater, then go to the right side, here 30 is compared with 30, so both are match, our key element is found in the embed search tree. So in this way we have to search a key element in the embed search tree. Okay. So when we are comparing with the binary search tree, the search operation in embed search tree is a little more time consuming compared to the binary search tree. So this is the introduction about the embed search tree. Next we go for one example.